Hi besties! Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. And of course, if you're new, my name is Trisha O'Connor, but you can just call me Trish. On my last video, which is a step-by-step -step affordable makeup tutorial for beginners, C. Nicole left a comment saying, can you do a beginner-friendly everyday look please? Of course I can. And that is what we'll be doing in today's video. Now this makeup look can honestly be done in 10 to 15 minutes and it's perfect for warmer climates. And if you really want to wear some makeup but you don't necessarily like the feel of heavy cakey makeup, if you know what I mean. So the first thing you want to do is prep your face by moisturizing. No, trust me, no matter how hot it is outside, you really want to make sure that you moisturize your skin because that's how you really get your makeup to sit and last all day. So for moisturizer, I'm using the Pond's Dry Skin Cream and this is currently one of my favorite moisturizers. So I'm just going to go in and just apply a little bit of that. The next thing you want to do is go in with a primer. Now for primer today, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Primer and it looks like this. This is super affordable and you can easily pick that up from the drugstore. Alright, so our skin is now prepped and primed and ready for makeup. For this look in particular, I like to start off with my brows. And for brows today, I will be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Now, if you have fluffier brows, you want to make sure that you just lightly fill them in. You really don't want to be heavy handed with the product for this particular look. And this is because you're not wearing a lot of makeup and so it can appear a little bit too harsh for your face. But of course, if you have thinner, more sparse brows, you can go in a little more heavy handed. However, you want to use a product that is a medium to light brown. See, it looks a lot fuller already. Now, for this look, I still like to go in and conceal under my brows to just give it that lift and make it a lot more defined. And for concealer, I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. You want to make sure that your concealer is only about one to two shades lighter than your actual foundation. Now, this is because you won't be applying a lot of makeup. You won't be doing a ton of eyeshadow or anything like that. So it can look a little bit weird if you go too heavy handed or too light with your concealer. All right, so now that we're done with our eyebrows, the next thing that we want to get into is our foundation. For foundation, I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Now, for that beautiful coverage that just looks like skin, I like to go in with a damp beauty blender to just buff that all in. What you want to do now is brighten your under eyes to look more awake and refreshed. So I'm just going to use the same concealer that I use for my brows and to conceal my dark spots. And for this look, I'm using the tiniest amount. So just mainly in the inner corner, like right here. And then I'm just gonna diffuse all of that out. Right here. Now look how pretty that looks. You just look so much more awake. Now, the next thing you want to do is just apply some pressed powder. Now this isn't like baking powder or anything, it's just some pressed powder. And what this really does is just to set all that foundation that you applied and to prevent you from creasing and you know, looking extremely greasy throughout the day. To add a little color to the face, what you want to do is go in with either a blush or a bronzer. I'm going in with some blush today and this is the Milani Bake Blush. See, nothing excessive, but it just adds some color to the face. 
Now this part is completely optional but I just feel like it gives a little dimension to the face and that is just to apply a darker powder or a darker shadow or whatever you have, maybe your bronzer shade and just like dab it over your eyelids. And then I'm just going to go in with some mascara. And then you can just go in with your favorite lip product. For today, I'm just using the Starstruck Lip Gloss from Victoria's Secret. And there you have it. So quick, so simple, yet so beautiful. I absolutely love this look and I get a ton of compliments whenever I do my makeup like this. Now that brings us to the end of this makeup tutorial. Now, if you found any value in this video, and of course, if this type of content is anything that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and of course, turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Also, let me know in the comment section below what other videos you'd like to see from me, and I will do my best to put that out for you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.